the back of your lungs so much bigger than the front. So just connect with the idea of your lungs being bigger and your back, you're gonna see already you start to breathe better. Don't force it. Just be aware of your lungs being bigger in your back and let your body take over. That means no contraction. Because anytime you try to modify your breath, you have to contract somewhere. You know, don't contract. Just be, just be aware that you, your lungs in your back are bigger. And just be aware of that makes you breathe. Very good. And you don't know, you have to know exactly where your lungs are and, and everything. Yeah, but of course, the more you know, the better. <laughs> Learn your anatomy. It's a very important piece. Very good. So let's check if we uh, breathe on our back. So what we do, we're going to put our hands on the lower back of the ribcage on the back. Okay, first thing, you know, to make that comfortably, you have to get the shoulders out of the way. Uh, so Shoulders out of the way, a very important exercise. I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna bring your shoulders all the way up to your ears as high as possible. Like you want to touch your ears with your shoulders and keep them high like that, but bring them as far back as possible. Like you want to touch your scapulas together, but very high, very high, very high and touch them together and then let them drop. Uh, up to your ears, all the way back, and drop. And again, up to your ears, all the way back, and drop. All of your ears, all the way back, and drop. Now be aware where your sternum is, and then it sink, then you drop. Uh, so keep your sternum down, bring the shoulders to your ears, all the way back, touch the scapulas together, and drop. Okay, now you can put your hands on your lower ribcage, it'll be much easier. So bend over a little bit so you can feel your ribs and your, your hands pushing on your lower ribs on your back and breathe, and breathe in your hands. So you push your hands with your ribs. And again, don't try to be perfect. Just be aware that you can do that. And uh, just pay attention. See there is a right lung, a left lung, uh, right side of the ribcage, left side of the ribcage. If there is one part, one, uh, part of the ribcage, uh, right or left, where it's easier to breathe or one that doesn't move as much. Just pay attention and don't try to modify anything. Just be aware of it. As you inhale, maybe one side opens faster than the other. And when you breathe out, one maybe sinks faster. And now be aware that how much you can breathe in there. And be aware that as you breathe, you breathe in, you breathe in, you breathe in, almost no end to it. Breathe in, breathe in, and breathe out, let go. Now keep breathing gently on your back and making sure that your ribs expand. And just be aware of what your belly is doing. It is expanding, but you're not forcing. So when you breathe on your back, you're actually also breathing in the front. And that's a very important part uh, because people they do a lot of yoga and stuff and they they learn they have to breathe in the belly so what they do they breathe they stick the belly out uh, but that's just half of your belly and uh, your belly has a back also so in order to breathe in the back of the belly you need to <laughs> expand the back not only the front if you expand only the front you prevent the back from expanding because of the contraction you're doing in your belly. So be aware, 
keep breathing like that. Yeah? Be aware of your both of your hands moving. Be aware of your the sphere of your abdomen expanding everywhere at the same time. And not only the front and the back, but also the sides. And the sides of the ribcage are expanding. And you feel the pressure of your diaphragm going down toward your pelvic floor. So if you cannot feel all this yet, it's okay. It's an exercise we need to do a little bit every day. I do that every day. I mean, they've been doing that for four years and I tell you, there's no end to improvement. More awareness and be aware of different possibilities of, of movement. The most important is not to try to force yourself to do something that your body just doesn't feel like doing, but to be aware or what it is that your body does usually. So don't try to correct before you're aware. There we go. And gently breathing in your back. Being aware of your whole abdomen expanding everywhere. And then rest. Pay attention to the back. Now, let's pay attention to the front. And the lungs, and be aware of the lungs. The lungs on the top are very small. And then the second lobe is much bigger. Yeah? And then, you know, the, here, the rib cage, the ribs are floating. Yeah? Here, the, the ribs are very short. Yeah? That means what? That means you're not supposed to breathe there. There's no room for it. Yeah? Here, the ribs are longer. Yeah? As we expand laterally. And then, then here we have the floating ribs. So we're gonna put your hands on the side like this. Direct your breath toward your back. And then always just think about your lungs being bigger in your back. And then be aware which side expands more than the other. There we go. Just pay attention. Don't correct anything. And the body's gonna correct automatically. That's the magic of awareness. And you cannot be aware of something without working at it automatically. So you don't need to use your mind trying to force yourself to do something in the way your body doesn't feel like doing. There we go. Okay. Now, hands on the sternum. So be aware of the connection between the sternum and the upper back and the, the three first vertebrae under your neck and the space between the shoulder blades. So breathe in the back of your lungs again. And be aware of the sternum expanding gently as you inhale and drops back as you exhale. That's a very complex relationship between your sternum and your upper back. Very key uh, relationship in terms of nerves and the movement of the energy, especially the yang flow and the down flow of the energy. Just being aware of that connection helps people to bring down their high blood pressure. And this exercise up to the ears all the way back and down, freeing up little by little on that C7 and the seven cervical vertebrae, which are very key vertebrae with the nerve connections and the Yang meridian system. So keep breathing the back of your lungs and be aware of that little movement on your sternum. Don't try to force it because if you force it, you change everything. If it doesn't move, it's okay. 
That means it doesn't move. It's good to be aware of that because eventually it will. And then you, you won't be able to notice if you pretend it does. <laughs> Yeah, so the only problem we have only two hands, right? We have to put the hands on both sides, hands on the front, hands on the back. <laughs> you know, put your hands on your back. Again, put your shoulders all the way back, drop your shoulder, your shoulder blades. Breathe in the lower rib cage and be aware of the weight of your sternum. And be aware that your breath, uh, you want your breath that works like opening and closing an umbrella. The whole umbrella opens up all at once, all around. And so you expand your breath down and back. Or back and down. <laughs> Whatever makes it easier for your ribcage to open like an umbrella. And rest. How do you feel? Yeah, so be aware of uh, that. Now we can put one hand on the chest, one hand on the back. Right? You put the, the back of the hands on your back, it's easier, especially if you have injury in the shoulder. If you cannot put your hand on the back, it's okay. Put your back against the wall or against the support so you can feel uh, the expansion. So again, think about your lungs being bigger on your back and breathe down toward the pelvic floor. And no should, just be aware of what's happening between your hands. And you want to be able to feel the breath opening the space there. And it's gonna open very little for most of people. And some people are not gonna move at all. Nothing wrong again, as because you're breathing perfectly in a way that protects you from feeling something the body's protect you from feeling, which is something bad. And so you don't want to rock the boat so much. And you want to give yourself permission to access everything toward progress. And for that, you need to have an inner permission. You cannot bully yourself into improvement. There we go. And gently uh, keep breathing, feeling your lungs and your back. And be able to feel that relationship in between your hands and right in between your hands, that's your heart. So gently. And so when you breathe in that fashion, the back of your lungs expanding, opening the whole rib cage like an umbrella and with your hand on the front, hand on the back like this, you exploring the space all around your heart and your heart. So respect <laughs> is a key word here, respecting yourself. No shoulds, right? just the way it is here. If it doesn't move at all, there's good reason. That reason is good, it has to be respected. That means your heart needs protection. And until it feels safe, you're not gonna be able to remove that piece of armor from around it. So first being aware there is an armor and we all have some piece of armor in there. And the armor, the armor is needed. Well, it's a protection, it's a shield. Nothing wrong with having a shield, nothing wrong with having an armor. The only wrong thing again is not to be aware that you're having one. Self-awareness, being true to oneself. I'm gonna just by saying that already, I feel like the armor is melting and your heart starts to feel safe because, oh, wow, 
is paying attention, <laughs> is being aware. Uh, and that's a, a relief from, from your heart, from actually your whole soul and the whole emotional body. And rest. So resting, putting your hands you know, on a place where they feel relaxed and just be aware of bringing the back of your lungs again and how your ribcage works. Expanding all around at the same time, as you know, as much as you can do effortlessly you know, without forcing, forcing, or just gently, you know, just exploring basically the possibilities. And again, the most important is to be aware of those places where it's difficult to breathe. Because those places means there is something to pay attention to. Okay.